Hello, it's me again, um, Secret D. I am in my car, but I'm not driving yet. You know, I'm, I'm just so you guys know, I don't look at the videos um, when I'm driving, so I will not make eye contact with you. I might do this, but that's like at a red light or something, because I am driving. I don't believe in like driving and texting and all that good stuff, so... Um, I will not be looking at you or looking at the camera. So I know someone messaged me and asked me why I don't look or whatever. But this is why. Because this is when I make my videos. I am in school full time now. I work full time. I have two kids and I do some modeling and all that other good stuff. I also dance. Um, so my time is limited. And yes, I will try to get like a time schedule where I will record something. But as of right now, this is it. So I am sorry. Um, hopefully we're not looking for aesthetics, at least not right now, because I rarely wear makeup. At one point, you know, I will put on makeup and make videos and do all that other good stuff. Um, but as of right now, I am not doing that. Um, so sorry again. Um, I am actually going to discuss a lot of things today. I might actually cut this video. Um if I find time once again and as far as social media you can find me on Instagram at secret D that's at S E E K R E T D um, that's also the same for Twitter and you can also search secret D on Facebook and I have a fan page there you can like that um, contact information is secret D at gmail.com so S E E K R E T D at gmail.com um, so I will start off today's discussion um, my last video which I probably just uploaded was on online dating and it's just a matter of what people go through with dating and this is not even online and I only say this because last night um, I'm gonna drive off now so I'm like not gonna look at you guys again so Hi, I know I probably look a little bit crazy. It's dark in here. Um, but sorry in advance, I guess we're not looking at you guys. So, um, what I'm saying is, I was listening to 103.5 and they did a, um, a War of the Roses, which is like a phone tap kind of thing. And they had this female on the phone and me and my girlfriend thought it was funny because she um, was like so big and bad and I forgot to to text my girlfriend to tell her how it, it came out because, um, let me turn off this video, because what happened was War of the Roses for people who are not familiar um, basically is where if you think that the person that you're dating or your boyfriend or I guess husband I guess I mean I would hope not but you know someone that you're in a relationship with is cheating on you um, you call them and what they do is they they pretend to be like a flower company doing a promotion and they give away they give away roses to whomever and yes please move really rude little girl idiot um sorry like they're walking in the street on the wrong side and she's like just go around um no that's why it's there because other cars have to go that way but walk on the sidewalk that's for pedestrians i mean ugh, this little ugh. and it's college it's really college anyway i digress because i try i try not to get angry because then I start seeing a bunch of like mean stuff. I was like so close to flipping the bird, but I didn't do it because I'm trying. I'm trying not to be that person because my sister keeps telling me I have road rage. I do not have road rage. People just do stupid nonsense when I'm driving. Like, really? Oh my God. 
anyway like I was saying so War of the Roses is oh no come on and here we go driving at 615 people acting the fool people acting like they don't want to let people in the street like oh it's going to take forever to go home <laughs> oh my gosh okay so War of the Roses is if you suspect someone that you're in a relationship with um, to be cheating or whatever the case is you would call in 103.5 and they would basically set the person up for you so they, you would be on the phone and while they contact your significant other and you wouldn't talk obviously until like the end and they would you know call the person ask them tell them that they just won free roses and it's a promotional thing to get more customers and basically ask the person for contact information for whoever they want to send the roses to and this is you know how they get caught because you either send it to you whom they're in a relationship with or they send it to Mary Beth or Johnny who they're cheating on you with and it's 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 hilarious because I've listened to it a couple of times because for some reason I never catch it when it's on even though it seems to be on you know during my commute time so I don't understand maybe maybe we're not on the right station in anyway I caught it yesterday but most times people they don't get caught and it, it's crazy like I mean I've, I've heard a couple like in a store or something where um, they do get caught but for some reason it doesn't seem like they get caught that often and um, so the people usually talk <laughs> Uh, where the hell are you going? Asshole. Should have hit my car too. Oh my god. Um. So. What the hell are these people doing? Anyway. So the girl calls in. And. She's talking. Talking. And she's like telling the lady. She's like you know he's smooth. He's good looking. He cheated on her twice before. And now she doesn't trust him. So she's asking what he looks like. And she's like, you know, he's attractive or whatever. And I was actually driving my girlfriend home. And we're like, okay, whatever. So we're listening to the call. And she calls this guy. Um, what's his name? Leroy. His name was Leroy. And immediately like he picked up the phone and he said hello and I was like woof <laughs> I was like okay I can't like his voice was just so attractive so even if his face doesn't match I feel like does it matter because his voice was like woof like I understand I understand like how he's a cheater because he has like a sexy voice and this literally was just at hello but now we move oh, it was too high so now we go forward and he starts talking about um the ladies telling him about the roses and he's flirting like hardcore flirting but he's saying it and it's just so like oh Leroy like if you're listening to it you're just like oh yes Leroy take me <laughs> So, the lady is, like, talking to him, and she tells him he wins roses. So, he has, like, this seductive voice thing going on, and he's like, so, the roses are free. And she's like, yeah, you know, we're doing a promotion, and we're trying to drum up business and get new customers. So, um, you have to get the roses. She's like, the only catch is that I can't send the roses to you. Um, I have to send it to someone of your choice. So, he's like, okay, but, oh no, sorry, I missed the part. So, when she told him about the roses and they were free, whatever, he like, he's like, so, how would you like me to thank you for these roses? And me and my girlfriend are like dying in the car because we get it. Like, this is why this chick don't trust him because 
he's crazy like he's flirting with the flower lady and it's crazy and then um so finally they get to the part where um he has to send the roses and honestly i don't remember the girl's name oh janine i think it was janine and he says i want to send it to my love or something something real like oh nice something like that and he says you know janine so the lady's like okay what do you want to write he literally wrote her like this paragraph you know my love my everything and our love is something like something real poetic like and then the lady's like oh okay and then even the guy who's in the studio with the with the woman on the phone, he's like, why are you blushing? Like, it, it's like one of those things. I was like, okay, Leroy, like, I get it. So she's like, oh, too bad you're taken because, you know, you really get a girl going or something like that. And he says something like, well, you can warm the bench for me or something. Um, either way, the girlfriend jumps on the phone and she's... She's like, ah, he's not talking about me. He's talking about another Janine. And they're like, what? And she's like going off and off and off and off and off. And I mean like off. Like she's like, it's over. Um, you're cheating on me. And I know you're not talking about me. So who's Janine? Who's Janine? And he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm talking about you. Your name is Janine. He's like, you know, he's like lost he's like at a loss for words because he can't believe that she's like going in on him and he sent them to her so he's just like you know why you mad because you try to catch me you couldn't catch me and then he's like she's like you know he think he's slick da 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 so she just goes in on Leroy and she's like I'm done with you that's not gonna work I'm done, basically. So she hung up the phone, and Leroy was just like, you know, I'm not doing this now. You need to call me. I'm going to call you. And she basically hung up the phone all angry, but he gave an update on the phone call, and apparently she took him back. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, she was like, when he spoke to her, you know, for the update on the call, it was like talking to a completely different person. And I'm just like, I get it. Because Leroy, just from that phone call, was just like, okay, Leroy, like, you could feed me some lies. Because he was just like, he was literally in it to win it. And I don't think he ever lost because he was really like, he really had her. So after that, um the update i'm just thinking like and this is the thing this is what i was thinking about because i watched um love and hip-hop last night and i was thinking about strawberry you know the chick i don't know her name but something strawberry and the guy she was dating which i don't know his name either i'm really bad with names but you know the chubby fair skin guy that she was dating and it's kind of like she left him and immediately went back, went into like another relationship. And you know what? It's TV, so it might not have been immediate. It might have been, you know, a time lapse in between or whatever the case is, but you just never know. Um, but even so, he was actually mad at her for moving on. So my thing is like, when, when does a woman make up her mind to say, you know, I'm done and I'm moving on? And I, I can just honestly just tell you it's just basically when she's done. Like, there's no time frame. There's no incident. Everyone has their threshold for bullshit. And I just feel like, you know, hers is a little bit higher than some people's. And now mine is extremely low because I've been through it, you know? So everyone's like, you know women shouldn't you know make their current relationships or future relationships pay for what someone did to them in the past and I personally don't make them pay per se but I do have less rope for them because of someone in the past so if you say it that way I guess it's kind of the same 
But um, I wouldn't say that they're being punished because of my ex. I just think that they can't get away with anything. And honestly, I don't really see that as being a bad thing because I don't want to be with anyone who wants to get away with something. So if you're a man and you want to date a woman that you want to be able to get away with something with then you're not someone that anyone should be dating like at all not just me like nobody wants to deal with that I, I personally don't want to deal with it as a woman as a mother as a full-time student as a full-time office worker whatever I don't want to deal with it because it's just too much like after a while enough is enough and some women say enough is enough and they mean it some women say it and they go back I mean I've been that woman that has said it and have revisited relationships I really I really have been so I can understand and I don't judge anybody but at the same time I feel like and you know what this this is what it is I had a friend, I don't talk to her anymore, and I, I'm sorry, like in all my videos, I'm going to apologize in advance, I go all over the place because I think of things, you know what I mean? So, I feel like it's all on the same topic, but it's just different scenarios. So, yeah, I'm all for love and hip-hop already, um, because that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to show her leaving him, like, ASAP, and the girl on the phone call sticking around apparently and she got cheated on twice and now she's good and Leroy he sounded good on the phone but you know no one's gonna really know and if she doesn't trust him it's never gonna work like even if he is you know if he has changed his ways as he said even if he is trying as he said um they're never gonna make it because she doesn't trust him and it's not even like she suspects him. Like, she didn't catch him and she still went off. Like he said, I'm sending flowers to Sarah Jane. No, he said Janine. Her name is Janine. And she's just like, no, it's another genie. That's not me. He's cheating on me. So that relationship is not going to work. Whereas Strawberry, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. Um, she for one she's a little bit extra for me like she does all this yelling and stuff like somebody can't smack her and I feel like nobody has smacked her because you saw that last episode she smacked him so I don't know I don't really put my hands on dudes because I believe like you know a chick you know hit you you hit her back I mean I don't think no man will ever hit me because I don't deal with that type of man but I've never been in a position where I wanted to hit him. Well, I did forget it. I threw a printer at him. But in my defense, I didn't really throw it at him. I threw it in his direction. And if it hit him, it hit him. If it didn't, okay, fine. It didn't hit him. Um, and he replaced my printer. But he deserved it. Um, either way, um, what I'm saying is back at the ranch to one of my friends. Wow, she's not my friend. But this female that I know of. Um has a daughter by some guy and honestly this is what I understand like people say like you know babies change relationships and generally they mean in a negative way so if you choose to have a child out of wedlock which you know what I understand everybody has their reasons everybody has their plan everybody has their life to live I mean I did it and it wasn't even like, I'm not going to say it was planned, but I wouldn't say it was a mistake either. You know what I mean? So I can't explain it. It sounds weird, but like it wasn't planned. Like, okay, this is what we're going to do. But it was kind of like, if it happens, it happens type thing, obviously, because it happened. Um, but at that point, I had been in a about a four or five year relationship with this person who I thought I would marry eventually. Um... The timing wasn't right. I didn't want to mess up my financial aid with school and all that other good stuff. And you know what? He took the good game. So that's neither here nor there. But this person, she said the relationship was jacked up before so hot, before she got pregnant. So I just feel like if you get pregnant in a relationship and 
the person is like not trying to have a baby they're not even embracing a baby or whatever the case is then you as a woman need to figure it out like you want to have a baby I'm pro-choice so if you don't want to have a baby don't have a baby um, but don't have a baby and think that it's going to change shit so it's not going to turn a shit relationship into a good relationship it's just not going to happen because your relationship is shit so if your relationship is shit and you get pregnant having a baby is not going to make it good Sometimes it improves. That's, that's in a rare case. And that's only if your shit problems was because you're trying to have a baby or something like that. And even then, it shouldn't be shit. Um, sorry, I said that a lot. But um, I digress. Anyway, the relationship was bad. They had a baby. And then she's surprised that it doesn't work. She's surprised that he doesn't come see the baby. She's like, all this stuff shouldn't surprise you. The relationship was shitty before you had the baby. Got pregnant or whatever. And now that you have the baby, it's not going to get any better. If anything, it's going to get worse. Especially if your relationship was horrible without a baby. And horrible like, you can't trust this dude. You know, you don't know where his peace has been. And this is what I don't like, okay? I don't like a woman who... And once again, I'm bouncing all over the place. I don't like a woman who is in a relationship with a guy and is okay with the relationship with the guy and only has a problem with said guy if the relationship goes to shit and nine times out of ten this problem or the ending of the relationship is not a hundred percent her idea it might come out as if it's her idea but it's not because otherwise she wouldn't have a problem with him. And yeah, I said it. That's how I feel. Because that's how y'all females act. Like, for instance, once again, I'm. you know what? No, I'm going to record this separately next. Because I'm like all over the place right now. Um, so we're going to go back into relationships and tolerance. So... I'm sorry. So what I'm saying is you tolerate the BS and this is the person that I know of and she has a baby and then she acts surprised when the guy is not checking for said baby. The guy doesn't want to see the baby. The guy is not doing anything. And a lot of times the guy wants to see the baby to see the mom. But this guy wasn't even interested in seeing the mom, so he wasn't checking for the baby. Um, and comes to find out he had a girlfriend all the while. I mean, it's just crazy, but like I said, at what point do you just say F it and move on? Like, she had like fake accounts to, to like spy on him so she could see what he's doing and all kinds of stuff. And my only thing is, why do you need to know what he's doing if you're over him? And she was always, you know, insisting she was over him. And she clearly was not. Um, but that's neither here nor there. My only issue was, you know, the whole tolerance thing. Because what makes someone stay? Like, someone can be in a relationship where a guy is cheating for, like, years. And they know, and it's okay. Oh, for instance... The have and the have not. I watched that show. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be watching it tonight. Because um, it's Tuesday night. But, um... Jim Cry, I know these names because I watch it a lot. Um, Jim Cry, who's the Caucasian judge, is sleeping with Candace. He also has a love child with the maid who he just met. Um, and the wife who has all kinds of issues or what have you is like okay whatever it's okay so once again that's a tolerance issue is it because he's someone in power is it because he you know holds some type of office is it because he's important like what makes you stay in that in that situation whereas you know as she says he's had nine affairs in a marriage like 
what does that I mean if you guys have any ideas you can just shoot me an email because I don't know um, and with that I'm just gonna end this one right here because I'm like all over the place <laughs>